Hi everyone, I wanted to share a project I just finished. It is for my daughter's kindergarten teacher who is retiring this year. She was also my son's teacher so I wanted to make something special for her. And with the help of some of my friends who gave me the pictures of their kids that were in her, her class um, in the past, I was able to do a little memory book. So anyway, here it is. I made it using manila envelopes. That's what all the insides are made out of, and I just cut the ends off the manila envelopes um, so that every page you know, is a pocket. And then the front cover and the back cover are chipboard. Um, and it is using the Paper Studio paper line. I can't remember what it was called. Oh, School Days um, throughout the book. So anyway, this is not an elaborate book whatsoever. It's very simple, um, just something for her that's special. So, And I will tell you, as I go through the book, I did cover all the ki kids' pictures with post-its, so it's going to look funny, but I want to protect their privacy. So anyway, the cover says, Mrs. Miller's Kindergarten Says, and then down here it says, Thank You. And that's a Tim Holtz ornate plate, and I just have a stamp that says thank you, and it was white ink. And I kind of just rubbed my fingers with white ink across here and there just because it's like chalkboard, you know, that's what it reminded me of. And this was a Sizzix die, and Mrs. Miller is rub on letters. And then I wrote the word kindergarten with a white gel pen on um, black chipboard. And then I just cut the words out, these out from a... Um, October afternoon school paper that I have. And there's a sticker that says best in class from that thing I had the other day from Joanne Fabrics, the sticker pack. And I cut this apple out. This was in the, with the paper line and I just cut it out. And I'm so excited at the way I, I bound this because um, it is, I bound all the pages, I cut, punched holes and used hemp cord, but I've never done this before where I covered it with this cardstock, and I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but this is Graphic 45 embossed and textured cardstock. And it's, you know, it feels a little bit thicker. Um, so I did it with that, and I really like the way it came out. I just used that red tape, that red line tape, whatever it's called, on the edge. So as you could see, and that was my first time doing that, so I was pretty happy with the way it came out. Now let me get started on showing you the book. Again, I hope this shows up good. So there is the first cover. And it just says school time. And then this page is the first page, and it's and it's going to be current kids in her class. And I just um, used rub-on letters for their names and um, punched them out and put them on pop dots to kind of raise them a little. Again, this is very simple. Oh, and then all of these, there's pockets, okay? Each one is going to be a pocket, and then something like this will be put in the pocket so that the kids can write a special memory about her that are in her class and then um, you know sign their name in the year that they had her and that's what every single one of these pockets will be so it just slides out okay here is the next page and that one there and then the next page here and I used the stickers throughout were from uh, what I purchased from Joanne Fabrics the other day. And the rub-on letters is from, um, oh, what is it called? I think Making Memories or something. Okay, and then there's that page. And that page. And this page here. This was from that October afternoon paper that I cut out and all the rest of the papers from this collection. And then there's that page there. Next page. And like I said, these all slide out so that um, some of them even have nothing on it so that she can put her own picture on it. And then the, I didn't have any more pictures. Some of these were older pictures of um, friends, kids, and I didn't have any more. So I just left this. I just put a mat there so that she could um, put a picture if she wants. And then um, this page too is just blank. She could put a picture or whatever. And then there's the inside page. And I put a ribbon around here and tied a bow because I messed up. I accidentally punched holes on that side. So instead of fretting about it, I just covered it up. And then the very last page I just wrote with, um, let's see how well this is going to show up, white pencil, everything I need to know I learned in kindergarten and I can't remember where I got that quote from it was on the internet somewhere but I thought it was cute and that is it that is my mini I really hope this shows up well so that my friends can also um, that have sent their um, 
what do you call it, pictures of theirs, kids can see it as well. Thank you very much, and uh, please subscribe. Bye-bye.